Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech and I've been uh, watching some uh, folks on YouTube uh, that uh, do a lot of circuit board repair and whatnot and uh, this is not necessarily uh, Apple related but it is electronic related and basically what this is, this is a component checker and uh, this can this, the neat thing about this little gadget is you can take and uh, you get a component and you need to check the value of it and say there's no writing on it you just plug it into this device it's got a LCD display and it can read resistor value capacitance uh, diodes it can read uh, other uh, devices as well but I thought that would be a really handy thing to have, especially when you're working on things with unknown values and stuff. Or even just pulling it out and just seeing if it's still good. So what we're going to do is uh, I, I purchased the pre-assembled kit because I didn't really want to have time to uh, solder it all together. And this is what it looks like. This is the, the unit here. And I'll leave a link on this video uh, where to get one. And anyway, so uh, yeah, it's a pretty neat little gadget. It's even got a little sound generator on it too. So anyway, uh, it's pre-assembled. However, you have to build the do-it-yourself acrylic enclosure that comes with this thing. And so that's what we're going to be doing. And uh, it does. <laughs> there's a lot of little pieces for a simple little case. So that's what we're going to do. Obviously, we're going to speed this video up because I don't want to bore you to death. But I thought this is a pretty cool little uh, gadget. It's, it's a really neat little thing there. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to start putting this thing together. And uh, like I said, it's a pretty neat little gadget. And so uh, we're going to start assembling the acrylic case. And like I said, we're going to speed this video up. And uh, we get all the parts out here. And what else we got? Uh, this here. And, and I love it because there's absolutely no instructions. I'm just kind of going off a picture here. And uh, that's the way it's going to be. So anyway, let's open this up here. And we're going to lay all of our parts out.
Okay, so we got all the plastic off of it, and uh, I've been trying to put it all together, but I've been running into issues of the case fitting together. Um, so I actually went on YouTube, and I found somebody that was putting these things together, and so I'm going to try it that way. It looks like you can actually put it together from the top, and you build it down, down to the base. So that's what we're going to do, and so... These little spacers here go up here, and then there is this here, these little standoffs here. So that's going to go up like that. This is going to screw down on like that. Like that. And then what happens is these is there's three acrylic pieces that go on top of this thing. So I'm going to get all these little standoffs on. And I'm just, uh, there, there are different lengths on these things. So, and like I said, there's there's no instructions on this thing. So it's like, uh, and I'm, I'm really good about putting puzzles and stuff together. Um, but uh, on this one, it's been a little challenging to say the least.
Ну. So now we're going to put the knob on it here. And uh, we are done. So I guess it doesn't matter which way you... Let's see. There you go. Knob is on it. The power jack lines up. And um, I'm going to, um, a lot of people put a 9 volt battery on these things. And I might do that, put a 9 volt battery on it. I'll have to get me a, uh, I'll get me a nice little 9 volt holder so it'll look nice. But yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Probably a lot more convenient because this is the, uh, this is the um, this is the power on button right here, and then you get your selector here so you can select it. But like I said, you have to calibrate this here. At least that's what they said on the one station there. So I'm gonna download the PDF. There's PDF uh, files for this. It's like four pages, and it tells you basically how you're supposed to use the uh, the pinout on this here for your components. And um, and like I said, this has a uh, you can use it like a voltmeter, it reads voltage. Um, and it also has a signal generator on it too. So yeah, that's pretty uh, pretty neat little little gadget there. So that's what it looks like all put together. Um, and it's a nice, it is a nice little case. Once you get it all together, it's like I said, you gotta build it from the top, uh, top down, not the bottom up, because I couldn't get anything to line up on it. And because uh, you can look on the side here, and you can see these are these stands are a little bit of an angle, so you can't tighten these down all the way. Otherwise, you'll crack the plastic. But uh, anyway, yeah. So it's pretty good there, guys. So what we're gonna do the next video on this? Um, I've got like three or four videos that's gonna be coming out, uh, and this will be part two of this. Basically, how to uh, turn it on and uh, how to do the calibration on it. And so anyway, uh, that, that'll be coming here shortly. But I got a, a video coming up too that's also on the um, PowerBook 1400. And uh, we're going to be uh, trying to get that thing on the internet. And uh, I got some uh, goodies for it to, to get us on the internet. And we'll see how that old devil uh, works on the internet. All right, so anyway, guys, yeah, so that's a success on that. And like I said, we'll get some power to it. We'll see how it works there. And that's going to be in the next video. So please like this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, also, mm -hmm. hit the subscribe button and click the bell. And we're also on Twitter now. So you can reach out to me on Twitter. Uh, and I appreciate it. Anybody that likes to follow me on Twitter, um, I'm going to start maybe even doing some vlogs. I've never done those before. So if I find something that's kind of interesting, we'll vlog about it. And uh, so, yeah. So, guys, uh, this has been Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.